Hello everyone in YouTube land. Again, my name is Bradley Allen Hensley. And yes, I am running for president in 2016. But that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video today for one simple reason. Americans, all of my military brothers and sisters, currently serving and those who have served, we took an oath to defend this country and its constitution and its laws from all people who would wish to destroy it, both foreign and domestic. Well, we have a very large decision to make, and I've already made mine. I'm going to honor the oath I took under God or whatever you believe in, something higher than you, you made that oath. And if it's higher than you and more powerful than you, I think you ought to keep it. At least that's how I'm looking at it. The current administration is trying very desperately to clandestinely destroy our Constitution and take away our freedoms. However, I, for one, will not allow this to happen. I won't just sit by and be silent. Silent is a form of consent. I don't consent to anyone trying to take away my rights. They want to send Russian troops to this country in the event of an emergency. Fine. Let them. But know this. The emergency they're talking about is a civil war. When we the people rise up and say, fuck you, enough is enough. And we take back our government. Well, I'm telling you now, anyone tries to take any weapon from me, any freedom from me, I'm going to fight to the death. And they better bring a hell of a lot of body bags. I know how to make explosives and everyday materials as well as poisonous gases and other things and I will use any and all means at my disposal to protect my country I understand that with the terrorism and all that ooh here's the thing nine times out of ten the countries that hate us we made them hate us it's simple as that we made them hate us through our actions well, you know what? If we leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. It's been proven. Look at over in Africa. There's a lot of countries over there that they didn't like us. We leave them alone. They didn't try to bomb us. They didn't try in any way to hurt us. I the 9/11 came about as a direct result of three things. One was our involvement in the Gulf during the first Gulf War and I did serve in that. That was about money. Two, our involvement in Bosnia, Rwanda, Kosovo, all these places. Why? Because we stuck our nose in to other countries' civil wars. We stuck our nose into places we had no business doing it. And the third reason is also the main reason. Uh, oil. We wanted control of their oil. Instead of opening up our own oil fields that we have in this country, we wanted theirs. So we needed an excuse to go in and take it. So what did we do? The CIA covertly paid Saddam Hussein $246 million to invade Kuwait. And yes, I know, by giving that away, I've just given away a classified bit of information. But I don't give a fuck anymore. Once he invaded them, that was our excuse that we needed to go over there. 
That's all it was. It's an excuse. We needed it. We paid for it. We got it. And we did it. This isn't right. If we hadn't paid him, he never would have done it. And we, it would have been left alone. But no, they needed a reason to try to use war to get the economy stable again. Instead of doing the smart thing and just, well, you know what? Switching it from what it's on, which is make more money to support the money you already got, back to the gold standard. Excuse me for a minute. But, you know, if we had went back to the gold standard, we could, boom, no problems. But we didn't. This isn't right. Then, we said we need to invade Afghanistan for the poppies that are grown there so that we can control the heroin that's made from it. So that the CIA can keep funding its black bag operations. So what do we do? Again, we pay someone. We turn a blind eye so that they can supposedly hurt us. Al-Qaeda had nothing to do with 9-11. It was all us. There's no way the kind of jet that was supposedly stolen to fly at the altitude that it did for as long as it did and hit the Pentagon and not leave all kinds of debris. Huge, huge engine holes in the walls and everything. Instead of just one little small section, it would have taken out half of the Pentagon. But then, just a small section that happened to have, let me see, oh yes, records of black operations. Funny how that works. Benghazi, all these Things, all these scandals that have been coming up lately as soon as there's a scandal that's going to end this administration what happens there's a bombing somewhere there's a shooting something happens where they turn off the attention from the scandal to something else so that we can lose sight of it this America is what we need to stop this is what we need to fight against I will be making another video shortly, later on, probably today or tomorrow. But until then, please, share this to all your friends. And like, subscribe, there will be more coming. Thank you.